HTML. Most of the web pages that you visit online are written with HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and it is a way of marking text with tags so your web browser knows how to display them. Tags are containers. You put text inside of them. There is usually an open tag and a closed tag. A basic HTML page has two main parts, a head and a body. These are tags. The head contains information about the page, and the body contains the actual content to be displayed. Here I'm going to show you how to set up the head and body section of your web page. Notice that all tags are surrounded by angle brackets. The open tag marks the beginning of the container, and the closing tag marks the end. The closing tag has a slash after the first angle bracket. Now your page has a head and a body with nothing in them. Let's add a title. The title of a web page shows up at the top of the browser or on the tab. You can create a title in the head part of your web page. First you need open and closing tags, and between them you simply type the title of your page. Now we need to add some content to our web page. Let's start with a paragraph, which is marked with a P. Create open and close P tags, and simply type your paragraph between them. You can make as many of these as you need. Paragraphs will be printed on the page with a blank line before and after each one. Here's what it looks like. To add a picture to your page, you need the image tag, called IMG for short. These tags look a little different because you must specify where the picture is stored on your computer or on the internet with the source or SRC attribute. It is also a good idea to put in a description of the picture for those who don't wish to or can't view images. This is done with the alt attribute. My picture is stored on the internet, so I enter the URL of my picture. Notice that image tags don't need an open and closing tag if you put a slash before the last angle bracket. Now let's take a look at what we have created. I'm using a special text editor that will open my page in a browser, but you can also save your page with a .html extension, like mypage.html, and then any web browser will display it for you. Here is our page so far. It has a title showing on the tab, two paragraphs, and a picture. But what about style? This page is kind of boring. That's why we need CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. I'm only going to talk about the style part of it today. The style of a text or picture includes its placement, color, size, and more. Here's how you set it up. First you need style tags. These usually belong in the head of the page. Just like with the image tag earlier, you have to put a little more information in the start tag to tell the browser that you are using CSS. This is done with the type attribute. Next you have to decide which element you want to style. Let's say we want to style our paragraphs, so we need the type of the tag, in this case, the P. And we enter that between our style tags and put curly braces after it. Inside those curly braces, we can put style instructions. In this case, we're going to change the color of the paragraph to blue. There's a lot more you can do with CSS, like center the text on the page, change the background color, and set the margins. At the end of the video, I will show you a great website to visit to learn more about it. Let's look at how our page looked before we added CSS and after the text is blue, just like we requested. Now that you have been introduced to HTML and CSS, I recommend that you visit W3Schools online to learn more about both of them. W3Schools tutorials are totally free and feature not only tutorials but also opportunities to try new skills and quizzes to test your new knowledge. Visit them at www.w3schools.com and start learning HTML now.